Hey our friends, happy National Coloring Book Day. We have a lot of coloring books and we're gonna do something different today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes. Do you wanna show them some of the coloring books that we have? Yeah, we have a lot here. Yeah, we, we have, have Star Wars. Star Wars, Yeah. Avengers. Avengers. Paw Patrol. One of my favorites. <laughs> um, Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story. And lots of we've, Mickey Mouse. We've got a lot. We even have Baby Shark. And Elsa. And Elsa. <laughs> So we have this really fun project that we wanted to share with you and we also want to demonstrate it for you, but you could also follow along with us and it involves coloring books, but we're going to do something different with them. So let's talk about what we're going to do. We have our marker paper and if you have the same marker paper, great. Also we're going to use markers. I love coloring books, but they don't work really well with markers. You've got to use crayons because the paper is just not meant for markers. So this is going to be a really fun activity to use your markers but also your coloring book and better paper. First, we're gonna tear out one sheet or two sheets because you're gonna do one too. Right. We're gonna tear out a sheet of marker paper and if you have the same art supplies, great. But if you don't, that's okay too. You could do this with printer paper, or just regular computer paper. It's easy to trace through because when you put a coloring book, because it's black and white, you can easily see the lines show through the paper, okay? So pick out one of the coloring books that you wanna start with. Okay, which one did you pick out? Spider-Man. You're gonna do Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with Buzz. And you can leave this actually in the coloring book like this and just put it under, or these coloring books are nice because you can actually tear it out. Now for us, let's tear it out so that it's easier for us to draw together okay. at the same time. But our friends at home, they could leave the page in, to, in their coloring book so they could use it later. So we're gonna tear that out, put the comic book, comic book, the coloring book off to the side, and then we're gonna put this drawing underneath and then we're gonna trace it. We could also use a little light table if it is difficult to see, but I can see it. Can yeah, you see yours? Mm -hmm. All right, now this part we're gonna fast forward, but we're gonna trace, we're gonna use our markers to trace over Buzz and also Spider-Man. The cool thing too is you can change where you wanna put them. So you can move him down to the left or put him up on the right. But after we do this, we're gonna pick out another character and then trace it in. And put it in the background. And also add it to the background, yeah. Yes. So you could put Paw Patrols or even <laughs> <laughs> Baby Shark with Spider-Man. Or Elsa. Or Elsa, anything you want. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it. I finished tracing Buzz Lightyear and I had to simplify them a little bit because our Sharpie lines are so thick. Yeah. But it's fun tracing. Are you having fun tracing Spider-Man? Yes. <laughs> He's looking really cool. And we got our light table out to help us trace so that the drawing behind comes through better on our drawing paper. The complicated part about it though is that there's another drawing on the other side of the coloring page. So you have two yeah. Spider-Mans you're trying to figure out which one to trace. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's working. It's looking really cool. Let's fast forward some more. I'm going to pick another character to take. I'm going to switch it. I'm going to add a different character to the background. You keep going on Spider-Man. Okay. I love that you're adding Mickey and Spider-Man together. And you also picked a Mickey pose that looks like it goes with the Spider-Man. He's, yes. he's laying underneath him, looking up, while Spider-Man whips over him. Yes, he's flying. He's flying. I think that's awesome that you're combining them like that. I'm also combining them and using overlapping, but you don't have to overlap. I looked at yours are spread apart so that they're a little easier to trace. I'm overlapping, it's a little more challenging, but it's kind of fun because now it looks like Buzz Lightyear is in front of Olaf and also Daddy Shark. All right, you add a few more things to your drawing. I'm gonna add maybe one or two more things and then I think we'll be ready to color it. Okay. Our coloring book collages are turning out to be 
awesome masterpieces. Yes. But we're not completely done. We still need to color all of them. Yes, this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is the best part, right? Mm -hmm. We are gonna fast forward again, but with your coloring books, you can color it any way you want. You don't have to color it, like Spider-Man's red and blue, but if you wanted to, you could color it pink and purple. <laughs> it's up to you. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We finished coloring our coloring book collages, our custom coloring book pages. They turned out awesome all colored in. I love that we took a bunch of different coloring books and we combined them together to make one super coloring page. And we also did it on this marker paper so that we could use our nice markers to color with. My page is Buzz Lightyear is leading a new team of Baby Shark, well, Daddy Shark, William, Olaf, and um, this random dinosaur. <laughs> and they're saving the dinosaur eggs. Aww. <laughs> in Elsa's forest. <laughs> and I love that yours looks like the new Marvel team, except it's <laughs> not all Marvel. <laughs> well, my drawing, I added the background, but I love that you left the background off. It looks really cool that way too, especially with all the Star Wars TIE Fighters. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt's my favorite. Yeah, he's just kind of randomly sitting in the background. <laughs> Chilling. Yes, in space. In space. We hope you had fun watching us make our custom coloring pages. Yeah, and we hope it inspires you to make your own custom coloring page. It really is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And we also want to wish you a happy National Coloring Book Day. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. National Coloring Book Day. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.